Yellowstone Caldera Chronicles is a weekly column written by scientists and collaborators at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. This week's contribution comes from Michael Poland, a geophysicist with the U.S. Geological Survey and scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. The Yellowstone region today is a wonderland. It's filled with spectacular geysers and colorful hot springs, home to lakes, meadows, mountains, and valleys, and covered in forests and grasslands. What we see today is the result of volcanic activity that has shaped the landscape over the past two million years. But what was Yellowstone like before volcanic activity filled several of the region's massive sinkholes and covered much of the land with thick lava flows and ash? What was Yellowstone like before it became a wonderland? To understand the answers to these questions, geologists have looked at the characteristics of the regions bordering the Yellowstone region, the mountains, rock types, and faults that shape areas like the Tetons and Jackson Hole, and the Gallatin and Paradise Valleys. About four to seven million years ago, the Yellowstone hotspot beneath southeastern Idaho triggered the High Sea Volcano. The series of eruptions included several large calderas formed by massive explosions, spreading ash across the landscape, including Jackson Hole and what is now Yellowstone. The pre-volcanic Yellowstone landscape was mostly plateaus, no basins as seen today. Instead, mountains running mostly north-northwest to south-southeast spanned the region. The present-day Gallatin and Madison Mountains to the north may have been connected to the Teton and other ranges to the south, forming a continuous chain of mountains all bounded by major faults. Fault-bounded mountain ranges like these are common throughout the western United States today, part of the Basin and Range Province, which stretches from eastern California to western Wyoming and Montana. <laughs> 